Hi everyone, this is Bree Andersey, and today I'm going to show you some paddleboard fishing techniques, the keys to paddleboard fishing. And I'm gonna show you what I use for my setup and take you through each step to get you out on the water, to get you paddleboard fishing. So first, I'm going to start with my all-purpose utility box. That's kind of how I uh, title it because I really use this for everything. I use it for my tackle gear. I use it for a live bait sometimes. Say you're just starting off and you're not really sure what you want to use, but you just want to keep some equipment on the board, you can totally use a crate. We used crates for a while and then found this and it was great because I can put some fishing rod holders on it and I really love it. So I'm going to show you how I attach that. What I did with the bungee cord, I just kind of cut it and made my own bungee. And this is how I use it with the black pack box. So I just take the bungee cord and I run it through the track line. And do the same on the other side. I just have a knot at the end and it goes through that gear track and that's how it is sticking. That way, if I'm in rough water or anything like that, it's stuck to my board, uh, which is really helpful. Next, I'm gonna show you how to set up your cooler. A lot of the times I get people who say, I can barely stand on a pedal board and let alone try to fish off of one. Well, um, the beauty of paddleboard fishing is you can sit down on your cooler or you can sit and paddle if you're, if you're tired of standing. So these contraptions are made by Yak Attack as well. And they go right into the leash plugs on your board. So I'm just gonna take that hook and put it into the leash plug. You kinda hear it snap. And then I put some pressure pulling it up and you turn it. You feel it get tight. You're gonna do the same for the other side. Then we can add our cooler. So this is my strap here. I'm just gonna put it through the tracks on each of the cooler mounts and through the cooler. Do the same for the other side. In calm water, I guess you could just put your cooler on the board with no problem and it not moving. But um, when we use it in salt water or um, places that have tide changes and currents and a little bit of wind chop, um, this is kind of like a seat belt for your cooler so that you don't lose anything. God forbid that, you know, it gets really rough or a boat comes through and uh, you don't wanna lose any of your equipment. So always make sure your belongings are attached securely. Now I'm gonna show you the different rod mounts. So rod mounts are a key thing with paddleboard fishing. You typically wouldn't think about bringing it because I've seen people just you know, put the rods on the board and paddle off and I've done that before too. But I've also dropped one in the water. <laughs> That took a while to find. So um, actually having uh, a rod mount is huge and you can also use it for trolling. Having this in the back with the rod being secured in there, if something hits it, I can you know put my other line down and the other holders and then go for the one that has the fish on. So I think they're super helpful and just overall precaution for going paddleboard fishing, not losing your gear. Stoddy mount would just go right into here and you would just twist it. Um, when I first started, I had a paddle board that should probably have been used for surfing instead of fishing. And um, you can really tell the difference because the leash plugs, with them having so many, 
uh, there's a lot of different contraptions you can put on your board. Really, there's no right way to do it. You can put what you want to put on it. Um, these are just things that I found to be helpful. So this mount just goes right on to uh, the ball here, and then you tighten it. And you can kind of move it around whatever direction. This is considered a vessel. So you are required to have a life jacket on you and also a whistle. I like this one. Um, it's small, it's compact. A lot of people think I'm wearing a fanny pack when I go fishing, but it's a life jacket. If I wanted to use live bait, so say I want to use shrimp, I would keep it in a small little um, container like this with an aerator. And I would put that inside of the white box that we had at the beginning and I would put my tackle box, everything around it. So that way I can have live bait with me. I like to keep my cast net right in the back here. And I just added a little string, it's like spear fishing line, and it just kind of keeps everything together. The most important piece of equipment for paddleboard fishing is an anchor. So um, many people say, you know, I can't, figure out how you would stand and fish and all of that. Well, it's kind of like being on a small skiff. So if I want to fish a dock, I'm going to toss my anchor out, make sure it catches. And then you can see I have all these knots tied in here. That's on purpose. So um, if I want to get closer or further away, I would just clip and get closer. If I want to let some line out, and float away, I could float away. So something specific with the anchor placement, um, I wouldn't put it at the back here. Like, looks like a good place to clip onto, but I wouldn't put it at the back because it would be very difficult for me to go back and try to um, change my length of my anchor line. So I like to keep it in the front up near me. So when I'm standing on my board, I can just pick it up and toss it or move it however I want to. So some paddle boards, they have um, a place that you can put your paddle. What I typically do is just put it right through here. I can easily just grab it and move my place. So that's where I keep it. Uh, you can use any fishing pole. If you're gonna be freshwater, you know, use your freshwater gear. If you're gonna be saltwater, use your saltwater gear. Specifically, what I like to use, what we're doing today, um, I'm gonna throw a little artificial. It's a bass rod. I probably really shouldn't be using it out here, but um, when my baits in the water, my dead baits in the water, I can always use this one and just cast it out and see if anything hits. So I'm gonna put that in the back here. And then my two other lines, if I'm gonna use uh, live, um, I'll have like a live mullet on this one and a live shrimp on this one. But yeah, you can also use artificial on them too. And they go in like that. So say you were to catch a slot fish. So for us, either put it on uh, a stringer. So I would just attach that to my board here. Um, you need to make sure you're putting it in a place where it's not gonna, um, I guess, interfere with you bringing in another fish. And also that's, that goes for your anchor line too. You can also throw your catch into the cooler that you have on the board too, if you choose to bring your cooler. So you can throw it right in there. So yeah, this is my setup for sub fishing and I'm gonna go take it out and see if I can catch anything today.